Well, a warm greeting to 2018 for all of our viewers and subscribers. This is Barry wishing you the best for the upcoming year. Um, I had a little while in between here, and I know uh, 218, uh, we're about January 2nd right now, or 3rd actually, and I had an opportunity to drive around Cabrera and just the local neighborhoods, and I wanted to give our viewers a better idea of some of the construction that's going on all around our area, not just in Loma Alta, but all around the surrounding areas of Cabrera. So I never did venture more than a mile, mile and a half outside of town. And I just went around and took various pictures. There's all types of homes that are going up from immensely big villas to nice little single family homes of various sizes, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. And I wanted to give our viewers uh, an excellent first-hand uh, idea of Cabrera is on the build, like I've been informing people it would be for well on three years now. I never really thought about doing this, and uh, one of our subscribers said, geez, it'd be really a great idea if you went around and gave us an idea of what is happening around Cabrera, so I thought I'd honor that. And here you have it. Every which way you look uh, around our little town, uh, things are progressing. I don't think at an alarming, unsustainable pace, but I do definitely say that if you do want to come around Cabrera, I, as somebody that's been involved with real estate for almost four decades now, I cannot see prices going down when there's this much demand of people building their uh, primary homes or their vacation homes. So come on along with me and uh, we'll show you how things are still done the old ways on how they lift concrete to second stories and how they still mix it one or two bags at a time, all manual labor. It, it really still blows me away how they do this and how fast they do it. Uh, other people have asked me about, um, and I'm going to do a series of videos on DR Escapes relating to... Uh, some ideas about purchasing properties, purchasing homes in various different countries, how the rules are a little bit different, uh, how they vary from, you know, country to country. We'll touch base a little bit on uh, how you take care of a property when you're not around and uh, why sometimes maintenance companies can or cannot be a good idea. But for the time being, just to start out 2018, I wanted to just drive around and just take one or two snaps of uh, some of the various houses that are on the build. And uh, by no means did I cover anything uh, in terms of all of them. This is just a small example. There are, uh, just off the top of my head, there's three or four different apartment complexes that are going up. So to be honest with you, a good friend of mine is in the uh, apartment, uh, you know, he is a landlord and he is in the apartment rental business, and he asked my advice of what I thought, because a couple of years ago there was a shortage of them. My honest opinion now is uh, I think there's going to be an adequate supply for the next up, uh, upcoming couple of years at least. That doesn't mean that if somebody wanted to build a home and have a rental on their property, I still think that may be a good idea for seasonable and vacation rental. But in terms of apartment, I think Cabrera's uh, going to be looked after for the next couple of years. However, that's only my opinion. I wouldn't put faith in it. Do your own due diligence. Do your own research. But I just wanted to uh, get this across and uh, make uh, no, no uh, shadow of a doubt that Cabrera is on the build. And I'm um, wishing everybody a great 2018. I wish you health and an open mind. And stay tuned about DR Escapes and Something Feels Wrong because there's a whole lot of information coming out your way. Looking forward to meeting with all you folks. Uh, looking forward to seeing some great people for a second time that have decided to come back. And until next time, this is Barry in DR. We'll catch you soon.